Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Can't remember uh, who said this, but uh, said something about uh, the old European powers are like uh, old ladies who uh, still think they have it, but they don't have it. So you have countries like uh, Great Britain, for instance, or France, um, that who, who think that they still have it. They're still uh, world powers and, um, you know, they are still uh, colonizers and they have empires and they don't understand that they are bankrupt. They're uh, almost as uh, strong as, I don't know, Poland. Uh, and I'm not looking down on Poland, but uh, they look down on Poland, just so you know. And uh, they act as if they're important, but they can't uh, even keep their troops in Africa anymore. So sometimes when you see France, in this case, acting as uh, they still have Napoleon and those times, it's laughable. Uh, this is false confidence, my friends. And when you have false confidence, so when you think you can do things that you are not certain, I mean, you can't in, uh, in reality can do, but you think you can do, the first time you're going to try to do those things, to accomplish those, those things, you're going to be failing. And when you're going to be failing, you're not going to look in the mirror and say, okay, let me analyze why in the hell I failed and look at the, the, the situation objectively. No, you're going to find all kinds of garbage justifications why you failed. Therefore, you're going to remain with that uh, impression that you're still in Napoleon's times. You are not. You haven't been for a long time. Now, what happened? I think France wants a bloody nose from Russia. Real, real bad. Why? Causes problems uh, by Russia, around Russia. Russia will smack uh, France as well, if they want. Well, I know, I know my French, my French friends. Take it easy, leave the heart to the side and use brains, okay? I'm a patriotic individual as well, but patriotism gives us this false confidence, for instance, that we can do it, we still can do it. You've been kicked out of Niger, by the way. Do you look over the map? All right. Now, let's look at this situation where Macron thinks that he's still a world leader. Prince's name is still a brand name, it seems like, but in reality, they have big problems at home that will grow bigger and bigger and bigger. France will collapse eventually. The French nation will be gone unless they vote for uh, Marine Le Pen. All right, here it is. Kazakhstan welcomes Francis Macron under Moscow's disapproving gaze. I'm gonna use some maps so you know why. Uh, and put this together with this one from Euronews. French foreign minister pledges arms for Armenia in visit to Yerevan. So this was, this occurred from Agency France Press, on the 10th of October. So three weeks ago, they showed up in Armenia and said, we're going to give you weapons. Today, they show up in Kazakhstan, this weasel right here. And obviously, he's happy about it, but I don't think he will be uh, <clears throat> happy someone else, but we'll find out. Now, let me show you some maps. Let's start with um, this one. So this is Russia, the yellow one. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. So here is Russia, just so you know who's who, what's what. The green big territory here by the Caspian Sea, this is Kazakhstan. Do you see where Moscow is? Now this is Ukraine right here, the little, I don't know what color that is, uh, light brown or something, uh, like mustard color. This is Ukraine, this is Moscow. Here, is, here are the Baltic states. And here is Finland and uh, Norway. So these are NATO countries. NATO is surrounding. So now this guy, uh, this, uh, uh, this guy right here, the weasel right here, he shows up right here. All right. Now, do you think Russia will be happy about it? Now, remember, this is China right here. This, this is, and we're going to go to a different map to see where Armenia is. So, this is again, Russia, Moscow is right here, Kazakhstan, right? Here's the Caspian Sea. Here is where Armenia is. So, uh, France got to Armenia right here by Turkey, which 
all right and here you have kazakhstan here is ukraine so how should the russians look at this situation i got more maps i just i'm going to give you more this is the caucasus this is armenia which you could see it right here so this is the area that i'm going to feature in this map on on this map armenia right here landlocked countries but they will st start trouble in georgia spontaneous regime change <laughs> you'll see so and then we got not this one we got this one so we see where france is maybe some people think france is right by kazakhstan somewhere here okay but no france is further from ukraine you see where ukraine is let me show ukraine we see where ukraine right here all right so ukraine is right here let me do it like this this is the crimean peninsula all right and here is down here somewhere in the south here is down here is georgia no south ossetia abkhazia georgia pop, 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 pop. so that is where is it right here right here this is the area so we go to the european countries and find where um france is france is this it's another russia if you can see russia france has the same color as russia this light uh, green so france is here russia is here down here where my i'm gonna do it like this that's the caucasus right here the caucasus where armenia is and further further east is kazakhstan no actually right there right here is kazakhstan right here you have armenia here and you have france here oh, france from here goes to kazakhstan and goes to armenia right here what do you think moscow will do i can tell you it's gonna smack france yes it can definitely can smack france more than france can smack uh, russia unless you are so patriotic that you lose reason raison all right <laughs> Let's go and see this uh, article here. What these guys want to do. Uh, what's going to happen with Kazakhstan? I think they re received the green light from the Russians. French President Emmanuel Macron arrived in Kazakhstan on Wednesday on the first leg of a trip to Central Asia, a region long regarded as Russia's backyard, which has drawn French Western attention since the war in Ukraine began. So they will try to destroy Russia, that's the goal. Oil-rich Kazakhstan has already emerged as a replacement supplier of crude to European nations, turning off Russian supply and an important link in the new China-Europe trade route bypassing Russia. Good luck with that one. In addition to oil, Kazakhstan is a major exporter of uranium. So French is kicked out of Niger, which has uranium, that's why they were over there. Now they try to get Kazakhstan for uranium already operates a joint venture so francis orano already operates a joint venture with its state nuclear firm kazatoprom at the meeting with president kasim Yom jomart tokayev macron complimented kazakhstan for refusing to side with moscow on ukraine and said that two countries signed business deals including a declaration of intent for a partnership in the much sought area of rare earths and rare metals all right my friends now you got it friends values like what uh like what the, again friends values remember the uh, napoleon's laws uh well, it was called somehow i can't remember how it was called napoleonic uh, law is that how you call it they're still in uh, in function over there and that's based on roman law and so on but here you have it friends values like what like tolerance <laughs> illegal immigration uh riots police cars turned upside down rats in paris is that what it is i'm just kidding obviously they have their values more than others but i'm just uh bsing a little bit the path you are following for your country the french values refusing to be a vassal of any power and seeking to build numerous and balanced relations with different countries well, why didn't you let France, why didn't you let Ukraine do the same thing? You see, refusing to be a vassal of any power and seeking to build numerous and balanced relations with different countries. So this is garbage already. Why? Because 
Remember, that's why uh, these guys overthrew the government in Kiev in 2014, because they did not pick the ones that they had to be picked. European Union, economically, say, there were some deals they were supposed to sign and say, you know what, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do it with the Russians. Now, if France really, uh, you know, agrees with that and supports that, would have supported, uh, you know, defending democracy in Kiev in 2014 during the bloody coup. But it didn't. It was on the other side of the fence. Therefore, France's values are not really values. Why? Because values are not uh, situational, my friends. Mon ami. Okay? Uh, they're not situational. Now, we have another issue here. It says that Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, where Macron goes next. So, we're going to see where Uzbekistan is, my friends. All right. So, let's see where Uzbekistan is. It's south of Kazakhstan. So here is Kazakhstan. This is Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is right here. Okay, so another location. They are uh, looking for. They are looking for materials, my friends. Uzbekistan, right there, south. They are looking for raw materials. Uh, before it was colonialism. They just went and grabbed it like this. Run out, they go and say, hey, we're going to give you this. We're gonna... You have nothing. You have a garbage currency that is depleted and uh, delusional. And that's it. That's all you got. What do you think Kazakhstan wants from France? Technology? Yeah. Why don't you buy some uh, Renault or maybe some Citroën or Peugeot and see how that technology is? Ah, I'm just kidding again. They need technology in uh, sucking dry uh, Kazakhstan's uh, resources, but it's fine. If you have, uh, if Kazakhstan uh, negotiates and gets something in return, that's fine. But the problem is, if you are promoting this freedom of countries, why do you promote other countries that, who want to do business with Russia or other countries doing business with other countries? It's only when it works your way you prize the. Oh my God! Thank you very much. You are you're so free. You know, free as long as you do what I tell you to do. When you do something that you really shows your, um, I don't know, freedom, liberty, uh, and I disapprove of, I will call you names. I will say you violated human rights, and maybe a regime change is past due. Good job, friends. Good job. We'll see how uh, the Russians will react to that. I'm pretty sure the Russians are, uh, and they will react to that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.